Nope. for you. You know, if you look the other way, friend. Bargaining time, I like them rares. Oh, that glitters is gold. There's some funny looking mummies. Those are just like my zombies, but reskinned. Members we have come across. Well, they have come back from the dead. I don't have any better way of putting it. They are no mindless zombies. Somehow they are returning whole. This must be why they call themselves the Immortal Syndicate. Immortality is dangerous, even in the hands of those with good intentions. You did it! They found it, Bataris! They found it! By the gods! Garukan's famed Stormblade. Do you know what this means, my sweets? Once we find the right collector... Oh, we can go anywhere, have anything. We will be like royalty. But the storm inside is a problem. It's too volatile in its current state. You're right. We can't trade away a weapon of such apocalyptic nature. This will require some pondering, my love. In the meantime, thank you, Exile. Take your pick of our stock. Have you ever heard much of the Maraketh legends? A truly unique cosmology of strange creatures, pagan gods, and powerful treasures. One such story talks of a magical stone dial. A Maraketh calendar, said to detail important events in the future of our world. General Adis, a war hero of the Empire, reported in his diaries of discovering a dial meeting that description at a dig site somewhere in the foothills. It appears the war hero had a secret penchant for archaeologies. But the cataclysm wiped the land clean and buried the dig site in rocks and sand. No one has been able to locate it since, nor the stone dial. Seems that with everything that's been going on of late, knowing what's due to happen in the future could be a fairly profitable ability. We know you would never have use for such a gift. It would remove all the enjoyment out of adventure for someone like you. Yet, in times such as these, our small folk could do well with a heads up if something particularly nasty were to occur. Besides, a relic like that should sit in a museum. Or our collection. Not be lost beneath the rubble where it benefits no one. If you were to track the calendar down for us, we would pay you handsomely, Exile. Yes, we are traders of antiquities, after all. Mm -hmm. Maraketh Desert, an oasis lies to the east, its waters shielded from prying eyes by a preternatural storm. The sand will rip the very flesh from your bones, should you be so foolish as to enter into a stark shroud. Yet enter you must. The goddess Shakari hides within that golden blizzard, 
festering with revenge as she resurrects and rebuilds her ancient army. An army that once threatened to shake the very balance of these lands. Should she be allowed to revitalize her troops, the whole of Marrakech will finally fall under the cruelty of his selfish reign. The storm is impenetrable for now, even to the likes of me, but there must be a way in. These Highgate locals, they have an affinity for the desert and harsh weather. One of them may know of a way to disperse the storm. Well, it took some time, but thanks to our Marrakech neighbors... And their ancient traditions... We managed a strain of thaumaturgy to remove the storm from Garukhan's blade. We even bottled it for safekeeping. We'd rather not trust anyone with this sort of power, but perhaps you can use it to clear away that sandstorm in the desert? Find out what sort of nasties are hiding out there in the desert and put a stop to them. <laughs> wow, the only two people in the game that actually care. Good luck. When I received my first flower of blood, I was given to the ritual of womanhood. All young Maraketh women had to dance with the scorpion to prove themselves worthy of carrying the Dakara's spear. It is no easy task to catch a black Maraketh scorpion. Their tails are swift, their sting is sharp, their poison lethal. I made my way through the trial unscathed, but my sister we shared a womb, came into this world together. She left it, thrashing and foaming at the mouth. Since that day, I have slept with one eye open for fear of the scorpion's sting. And now Shakari, the mother of all black bugs, rises from the sands. Find that scuttling bitch and kill her for me and for every child. Every little girl who has suffered and died by the barb of a countless poison tails. Ooh, how many tails does the scorpion have? Maybe I can use it for some. That kind of poison shouldn't go to waste. Hey, what are those crabs doing in the desert? I thought they were marine animals. Yeah. Basilisk! Why is it shooting fire? I thought it was poisonous. I guess it can also shoot fire. Does that fire poison in it? Too much clutter. You have done well, but our concoction requires both acid and powder. Return to me when you have collected the second partner in our corrosive duo. Yeah, let's go kill this scorpion. You know, if this is how big this scorpion is, sleeping with your eye open isn't going to do shit. It looks like it... Yeah, if it can... If it can swim through sand that fast, you ain't escaping it. <laughs> is it trying to lead me to a new area?
Oh, of course you wanted me to walk up to these sand pits. Stupid scorpion. Now I'm stuck. Finally, it's above the sand. This is where it was going the whole time. Rest, my child. Be free from the torments of immortality. Oh my god, a game where immortality is bad for once. A mother's keen heart shall bleed into the dreams of her daughter. Once a beauty who held captive the hearts of men and women alike. Shikari's splendor had decayed into lust for the power possessed by her skyborn mother. My daughter once sought out such power within the great sands of this desert. Ever determined, she found it, and it made of her the twisted creature you so mercifully dispatched. Driven by agony and shame, she built an army out here in these sweltering lands, and would have conquered the very sky had not the beast soothed her into peaceful oblivion. A babe once more, sleeping in her cradle. 